Secret Service agents call the presidential limousine the beast. And if spy photos are any indication, President Obama's new ride lives up to the name. It's a rolling tank with windows. At the turn of the last century, when President McKinley was inaugurated, he relied on an entirely different kind of horsepower. President Harding's inaugural parade in 1920 was the first to use a car. President Franklin Roosevelt used the first bulletproof ride, one seized from mobster Al Capone. President Johnson's limo was armored and enclosed, a byproduct of the Kennedy assassination. Ken Lucci owns a limousine used by Presidents Ford and Carter, and another that carried President Reagan. This is a 1975. Though its doors and undercarriage are armored, it seems quaint next to the high-tech limousine President Obama will use. I like this. No campaign, no election, instant president. Great. Lucci notes the new limo's windows are smaller to make it less vulnerable. Some of the body appears to be built of a different material. He speculates it's a tougher composite. Lucci says rubber gaskets could protect against chemical weapons, and he guesses the holes in the door are for a mechanism to lock it like a bank vault. That door probably weighs as much as a 757's aircraft door, and the inside of that cab is as sealed as a jet plane. And that may surprise Obama, says Joe Funk, a former Secret Service agent who drove President Clinton's limo. It's a cocoon, and uh, the everyday noises uh, will be will be gone, and he will be totally isolated in this protective envelope. 